Hello guys, here I'm going to show you uh, my latest latest work in the uh, nodes for SynCity. So as you remember, the current way to use SynCity is via this uh, panel here. But the problem with this panel is uh, I wanted to add a lot of features that you could use either independently or together. And I realized the best way for that is to use a node-based workflow. So this will stay here for a while and I won't touch the uh, features available from this panel. Uh, but the, the development will happen now uh, using the, uh, in the node editor. Okay, so version after version, I will add new nodes and you'll be able to connect them to create cities. And I'm pretty excited about it. I mean, uh, I've, I've have some preliminary results here. And this is a simple city made from these nodes, from these, uh, yes, from these nodes. And some of you may remember, this is the kind of cities I used to generate in the old days for the, when it was still called Suicidator, city generator. Then I moved to, uh, I experimented in a lot of ways. And now I, I want to add, to add back a lot of what I, I did before. And when the basic features are, will be in place, then I will add um, more advanced algorithms and features. So let's see, let's see how, uh, how the nodes, how the nodes can be connected together for now. I mean, there is only, there is only these nodes for now, and I will release the next version in a few weeks. Okay. So more will be added, maybe a few more. And, uh, yes, that will be a good start. So let's see how this is done. So as you, uh, as you see here, there is a new, uh, node, no, node network category. And this is enabled when you uh, enable the add-on. So let's create a new graph, a new network and you call it, you can call it anything. All right. Then, uh, let's delete the city. Okay. Then you add nodes and you'll notice here, we have a few nodes already. The main one for now is the simple buildings layout. Okay. And by itself, this is the node that defines where, uh, where the buildings will be placed and how big they will be. And it's called simple because as you saw just, just before, um, it's better for, I mean, it's not really precise and there are no roads. It's better for large scale views or when you, when you see a city from the, from above, or if you don't mind having a simple city, the, the advantage of this algorithm is that it's very simple to understand and it's fast to generate. And it's the first one I'm adding for the nodes. Okay. So when you add this node, the first thing that we should notice is there is a, a message here saying that um, we need some sort of buildings mesh, you know, for the buildings. And this will be connected to this uh, socket. So let's add Let's say that our buildings will be made of cubes for now. Okay. And to see that, I mean, to see the result of the, the, the simple buildings layout, it generates a mesh and a map, but for now it doesn't do anything, but for the mesh, we can make an object. So this is an output mesh object. Okay. So I plug it like that and the object will be called city and the mesh will be also called city. 
we want to delete the mesh every time we uh, we regenerate it and normally that should work okay so by default it's very big let's select the object and scale it about a thousand a uh, hundred times and this is what we have it's okay this is what we have uh, if I update it every time now it stays the same you have to if you want a different random um, set of buildings I mean positions and sizes you have to change the uh, random seed here and if I regenerate again it will be different right so on this node you have a few settings uh, you can control the number of buildings the size on each side of the city uh, the seed the size of the buildings on the x y axis and on the z axis and a few other settings i will i will make it very i will explain everything in a uh, when it's released in the tutorial videos for now it's just an exploration of uh, where i'm where is my work at, at the current uh, state but as you can see here it's very boring there is no variation it's all, all, all they are all about the same size and same height and for that we can use the buildings size map here and a map is a kind of it's a bit like an image it's a bit like an image but there, there are no channels there is no rgb just one channel and there is also no uh, it's not dependent on uh, a resolution so let's add a map and for now we have the procedural map node so I plug it like that. Okay, the height map doesn't work yet, but I will do it later. Okay, and if we want to see what this map does, what is the what is the output? Uh, this is the output of the previous city that we saw before. I mean the previous map. Let's add a map to Blender image node. And if I plug it like that, okay, so this node can transform a map into an image that we can see listed here. Uh, let's, and before, because this is, this will be an image, we have to set the resolution and draw it. There we go. So that's the, that's, this is the result of this node. You can randomize, you can choose the type of noise, you can randomize the position to have a different one. If you, just like here, if you draw again, it will be the same. So you have to randomize the position to have a different result. And, and yeah, so if, well, let's try to generate that. And there we have our city with the buildings following if you notice we have the same pattern okay so values black values are values at zero or below and this this will be empty areas in the city and white values will will be the uh, the part where the buildings are taller and larger depending on your settings here a more interesting um, noise pattern is the cells noise subtype and this will give us that we can change the scale here like uh, if i want uh, larger features i reduce the scale like that and i can create the city like that and there we have it let's let me I uh, give it the material to the city mesh 
All right. So here is the, uh, you should have a pretty good idea of the kind of um, workflow that the nodes will allow in future versions of CNCD. I'm very, very pleased with the, the way it, it will be. It's working right now and I have a lot of ideas that I'm going to add week after week. And I will show you uh, the next features as soon as I can. Thanks. See you.